Edwardsville quick about their team. They're 30 and 21. Got to the NCAA Tuscaloosa Regional by winning the OBC Tournament Championship. They will play uh, fifth ranked Alabama beginning at 6 p.m. Central Time. We're uh, obviously joined by head coach Sandy Montgomery, pitcher Haley Chambers, and shortstop uh, Chelsea Yankolovich. So we'll go ahead and begin with an opening statement from coach, and then we'll open up to questions after that. Coach. Hi. Well, we're just extremely happy, uh, obviously, to win our conference tournament and um, you know getting the opportunity here to play at Alabama is uh, exciting for all of our kids. And, I know that uh, Alabama's got a great following and, and a great crowd, and, and um, you know we're going to do our best to compete and and see what happens. Thanks, Coach. Go ahead and do questions. Yeah, for, for both of the players, can you talk about your schedule? Uh, you know, as Coach said, you all took your lumps early on. Um, you played a lot of the teams that are in the tournament, a lot of the high seeds in the tournament. How, what was it like to go through that, and how did that prepare you for this moment? Jeff, you want to start, and we'll go ahead and have it answer. Definitely prepared us for this moment. I'm not nervous. We're confident. We played all these teams. We played Washington, Arizona State, Oklahoma, and those were great games. I mean, we held our own with them. We know we can hold our own here, and we're really, really excited to play Alabama right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just a great opportunity like, to know that we can compete with teams like that, and it did prepare us a lot for our season because it showed us how tough we need to be to compete with not only the people in our conference, but outside of our conference and on or in order to make it here. So I don't think we're, I would think we're in a good place right now because we know what to expect. How much momentum for, for all three of you does it give you to go through a conference tournament and, and win it to come in on the team straight? Sure. Um, well, you know, the kids played really well in the tournament and, um, you know, they're playing with a lot of confidence and, and uh, I think we certainly played our best softball on uh, championship day that we played all year. Uh, Haley was lights out. I mean, she was uh, she had great command of all of her pitches, and you know we just hit the ball extremely well and played uh, solid defense, and, and that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you're supposed to peak at the end of the year. So um, I think that uh, coming into this tournament, you know, we didn't practice much this week. We had one practice, obviously getting ready to travel and everything. And um, you know, the way I look at it, we we played very well, and, and if we don't know how to do it now, we're we're in trouble anyway. So um, we're ready to roll. Chelsea. Yeah. Um, we just felt confident. We were hitting the ball well. We were seeing it well. We fielded really well. And it just makes us feel really good coming into here, knowing that we can do it, especially facing Alabama. We know they're going to be tough competition, but now we're really confident because we just came off that OVC win. Um, I think it's really important for like all teams to peak at the right moment and peak at the end of the season, which is exactly what we did this year. Um, we played our best ball in the conference tournament, and it's only going to carry over from there. So we're definitely ready. Other questions? Coach, how exciting is it for you after you know coaching a team for years through Division Two, making the jump to Division One, and now to make the regional here at one of the biggest stages in Division One? But what does that mean to you? Well, I'm very proud of our program, and I'm very proud of this team. You know, we've been uh, since we started the transition to Division One. That's always been our goal. You know, to win our conference championship and and make it to the NCAA regional and. And honestly, what better place to, to be in it than Alabama? You know, I know Patrick very well, and uh, he does a great job. And, um, you know, again, I know the, the challenge to, to beat them is going to be extremely tough. Um, but we're just really excited to be in the tournament and represent our institution. Uh, you know, we, we're given a lot of support at home. You know, we just opened up a million-dollar indoor facility. You know, and as a mid-major, you know, you don't find that a lot of places. So, you know, we're in a really good place um, from a program standpoint, and, and we're ecstatic to be in this tournament. For the athletes, kind of the same thing. Uh, how exciting is it to come somewhere that historically has a great following for softball and a lot of passion for the game and play in front of that kind of crowd? Well, I started here when we first became Division One. It was the very first year we were able to compete, and now it's my last year, and now we get to make the regional, and literally it's a dream come true. It's so exciting. I got to see the program grow, and having the, such a following and such support from our fans, our school, everybody is amazing because we know we can do it because we have all that support at home. Yeah, I think it's just a, a great opportunity for everyone. I'm, being a sophomore, I'm still like still getting into this, but this is just, it's amazing. Like It's just things like when you're little, you just kind of dream of this, but it's actually like turning into reality, and it's just, it's a great feeling, and it's just a great thing to be a part of. Coach, did you, did you think Haley would be your ace this quickly when you recruited her, and what did you see in her? Yes, 
<laughs> no question. Um, you know, she's been, she was a freshman of the year in our conference last year. I mean, she's, uh, she's a savvy kid. Uh, and the biggest thing that uh, made me want to recruit her is how competitive she is. You know, you've got to be competitive to be a number one pitcher. You've got to be able to handle pressure. Uh, you've got to be able to want the ball every day. And Haley does that. She does all those things. And uh, I'm just very proud of how she's developed. You know, last year as a freshman, she did a great job. Uh, this year as a sophomore, she's turned into a whole different player. Uh, she's hitting in the five hole for us, um, you know, doing a really nice job there. She's got power, uh, you know, she can hit for base hits as well. Um, she can also hit the ball to the park. And, you know, from a pitching standpoint, um, you know, being able to be in the lineup as the DP and pitch and handle that and still be successful in both areas is, is pretty amazing. Did you expect to be? Um, no, I knew I was going to have to work hard to be there because when I came in, there's two other girls that are older than me, and I just wanted to prove myself here that I could pitch at this type of level, and I mean, she helped me out a lot. I was like a loose cannon when I came in my <laughs> freshman year. Um, she taught me how to pitch at this type of level, how to con control the controllables, and I've just really grown as a person and as a player, and it, I mean, I owe it all to Coach Montgomery. She has helped me so much. That's why I'm here. So. I paid her to say that. <laughs> also, was, is Chelsea an example of one of the one of the ones you recruited to make the step up to be one? What, what did Absolutely. you see in her, and what does she meant to the program? Well, Ch Chelsea is, uh, you know, she's a very athletic, again, game savvy kid. She understands everything. I think she'd be a great coach. Although she's going to nursing school, uh, after we get back home, she's going to start that track. But. Um, you know, she she's solid. You know, she she gets a job done. She's our leading hitter right now in, in the leadoff spot, and um, you know, she runs the infield. She plays a great shortstop, and um, yeah, I'm I'm very fortunate. She's been a four-year starter for us. You know, I like to bring in freshmen, and, and uh, I'm not afraid of freshmen at all. So I've got a couple freshmen starting for us this year, and you know, I love to have uh, a freshman come in their first year and end up being that starting player and having for four years. I think that's where you get a lot of continuity in your program. You guys happy that it's a little cooler down here, or did you, or were you disappointed that you didn't get some southern heat? <laughs> I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow, isn't it? We seem to bring the cold. We just, yeah. we just left Jacksonville, and it was uh, we played at what eight o'clock Saturday night, and it was extremely humid. So we're okay with it. We live we live by St. Louis. We get the humidity all summer long as well, just not in May. <laughs> Time for a couple more questions for either coach or the student athletes. There are any. Anything else? I have one. Um, you mentioned your uh, coach Murphy, and you said you know him well. How, how do you know him? What does that relationship look like? Um, well, we just know each other from from coaching and in recruiting, and um, you know Patrick has uh, been around a long time and has done obviously a great job with this program. He's very well respected, and um, certainly by me and, and many other coaches and. and uh, you know, he's a great guy. Anything else? Yeah, let me just, I, I think you've been here before, but you have, but you know the kind of crowds Alabama gets. Um, probably, I would assume, maybe the biggest you'll play in front of. Um, what, what does that mean as a player? Do you, even though they're rooting against you, do you, do you relish that be. opportunity? <laughs> um, absolutely. Like, we're just, we're going to take it all in. It's, we're going to have fun with it. Um, I think it's going to make us be more confident on the field. Like, even if they're rooting against us and yelling things at us, like, I mean, coach the other day in our infield, like our indoor, she played the CD, and it was like a mock of what this crowd is going to be like. And she's like, this is what you're going to be ready for, you know? And it was just awesome just to think that, like, we're going to play in front of those people, and, like, they're going to be that loud and obnoxious. And it's just, it's fun. It's going to be a fun atmosphere, I think. So. Yeah, I managed to find the uh, roll tide chance. <laughs> Chelsea, and I have played here before, so I have experienced this crowd, and it's probably what I'm most excited for, I guess, because they give us the drive to do better since they're not rooting for us. And if we show them that we can do it, maybe deep down inside, they'll, they'll say they can do it, but I know they're all Alabama fans. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's exciting, and we play for people to watch us and show them how fun softball is and love for the game, and we get to do it in front of 2,000 plus people now and show them why we're all here and 
this program and now everyone knows who SIU Edwardsville, Edwardsville is and it's so exciting that all those people know that now. Coach, you've been, you've been doing this for a minute. Uh, the, the Quick minute. <laughs> for, the, for the growth, not just of the sport, but the popularity, but the crowds. I mean, 10 it's years ago, yeah. 20 years ago, right. nobody played in front of thousands of people. Right. How much does it mean for you to see that grow and to see your girls get to play in, in that? Well, it's, it's, you know, I've been doing this. I was a head coach at 23, so um, I've been doing this quite some time. I think this is my 26th season, and, um, you know, I've had the opportunity to play in, in a, a women's major. I was just telling Leo O'Brien, we actually played against each other uh, back in the day several times, and I played in front of big crowds myself. But as a coach, you know, um, until you play in the SEC or the Big 12 or, you know, Pac-10, you're not going to see those crowds uh, on a consistent basis. So it's, it's great. I think that the sport is certainly growing and it continues to grow. And, and uh, I'll put a plug out that I hope we get back in the Olympics because I think that's uh, very unfortunate that they've dropped softball. It's, it's amazing to me that, um, you know, that that happened. But, Softball is uh, more TV friendly now. It's it's a faster paced game. You can you know you can get it going, and, and I just think you know the crowds and the, the amount of young you know young kids and young women that are playing now are are uh, astounding. 